Ladies and gentlemen, boys and the girls, welcome to... What's up, to gamers? How fucking <laughs> dare you? It's been a, it's been a you. while that you've done that. Yeah, holy shit. That was oh, good. It's been a while. All right, so we're starting early. Uh, I have been chomping at the bit to open this yeah, thing up for a whole bored. day. And I was at home bored, and I was like, what are we waiting for? Right? Nine o'clock? We're that? the boss. We're the boss, and Dean, you made a dream come true here. The I TVC, did. the Mandalorians, N1 Starfighter. Um, it's interesting because I think you pre-ordered yours after me, but you were still in the first batch. Yeah, it was weird. I don't quite understand how they did I that. I want to say I ordered this the same day. It was just like We, we both later. got it the same day, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I had pre-ordered mine. It was after Hasbro sold out, Yeah. but it was still about 10 minutes after, and I think you were later that evening. So um, we're going to open this. Um, full disclosure, um, I'm probably incredibly biased for how cool I'm going to think this is. So yeah. I would take just about everything I say today with a massive grain of salt because I do really like this ship and I do really like this uh, character. So Yeah, so that's actually, I wanted to touch on that. Um, so you had put up a thing that you wanted. You are like, hey, if anybody has it in their pile of loot, let me know and I'll buy it from you. Yeah, because a lot of people and, didn't get the email. They just got like yeah, the I, notification. I got the email, but I don't check my email every day like a goober. And so it charged. I didn't even know it charged. Mm -hmm. And it was in my pile of loot. I just like happened to go on BBTS. I was like, what the fuck is that? And um, I was like, uh, I don't know. I kind of want it still. And I don't want to have to deal with the headache of not getting it later. Mm -hmm. And then I was thinking about it. I was like, I don't even fucking like the N1. I think it's fucking stupid. And Zach really loves this thing. He's 3D printed it. He's gone through the effort of making it. They made such like a cool, like objectively cool toy. You know, wow. when they were showing off all the little features that I had. That wow. I think I just like fell for it. And I was like, oh, I got to get it. Uh -huh. And so I pre-ordered it. And it was actually kind of expensive. After tax and the $4 shipping, it was $145. Mm -hmm. Which seems kind of high for what you got. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make dreams come true today. And I'm going to hook up Zach. What a guy. And because somebody somebody hooked me up. And I was like, I need to pass, I need to pass it forward. There you go. Pay it forward. Pay it forward. Um, wow. so well, I did, and, I, and Zach was super happy he gave me a pee, -pee touch. It's true. Over the pants, pee, -pee touch. So, <laughs> there's a lot of cardboard, cardboard. Quite, a, quite a bit more than I was expecting, but let's see, we got okay. half of the stand. Oh, was that ocean water? It is. I learned nice. about ocean water from Zach. All right, so we got the Mandalorian stand. Very cool. Um, what's interesting to me, Dean, about this whole endeavor is I thought Pulse had already started sending theirs, but they haven't. I have not heard a single person that got it from Hasbro direct yeah. that has this, uh, you know, Yeah, it's Andy weird because it's still on pre-order at BBTS. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so let's, um, there's a lot of stuff here, so we'll, we'll just kind of ease into it. We got the main chassis. Nice chrome paint there at the front. And then it kind of has this uh, um, pearlized Ooh. silver, which I don't like, um, for the uh, parts of the ship that should be gunmetal. If you watch the show, there's uh, a little bit of chrome, a little bit of gunmetal. So we will... Um... No, Badfish, I didn't leave the house. It was when Max was over. You know, it's nice enough to bring it by. Uh, so we have the left uh, engine, so we'll go and plug that in. Yeah, I got it shipped to my house anyway, so I was like, I'll, I'll just bring it over. What a guy. We have the right engine plugged in there pretty good. This is actually quite sizable. I was thinking it would be much smaller. I want to see it compared to yours when, when we're done here. Yeah, yeah I, I will do my best. But I really like this. Uh, one thing mine is missing, if you look here, this missing? has like the internal... Like, it's very dimensional. Yeah. Mine is missing that, which is really cool. Oh, yours, cool. 3D print. The 3D printed one, yeah. Okay, I was this like, one, I'm looking at it. What do you mean? <laughs> this one also has the uh, 
the sliding cockpit and then this all lifts up for you know getting him in there and this has a much much better cockpit than the uh, one that I had made for myself so let's see we got the tail here but I think there should be like another a drive shaft or something piece. yeah it's not really a functional piece we also have the base which we'll mess with here in a second so let's start opening up these little pieces here so in bag number one oh like lego yeah so we have the uh baby yoda little seat there which is very nice. cool we also have the uh, r4 piece which i have my r4 here and this just plugs in like this where'd you get the r4 uh funny enough mark pearson gave it to me when i 3d nice. printed mine that's real fits in yeah. lovely just like the show look at that it makes so much more sense with the droid i thought i thought the bubble was so stupid i don't know how i'm gonna display this to be honest um i i just don't know i'm just i'm just too excited to be honest oh shit i took the whoa almost broke it bro did i break it already no that's good no, nah, this is pretty it. much designed to be played with. I think I did break it, Dean. Let's see. No, no, we're good. All right, so let's see. So in bag number two, in fact, let me just put this on the stand for now. <coughs> don't rush it. You don't want a 10-minute unboxing. Bag number two, Jesus. We have the hover parts which I will need to read the instructions on how to put those together. I feel like there should be a third piece from what I saw. The next bag. Ooh, we have the uh, the engine, or the rocket little, uh, the back of the engines, rather. Nice. Which, Alvin just is still waiting for his to ship. Yeah, these, I don't know. I, these I are like nice them. and firm. I was kind of worried they'd be kind of janky. So we'll yeah they used to there. do that all the time they would put soft plastic on like the yeah. pointy bits and then they would droop over time mm -hmm. dean knows dean's a dean knows all about that oh dude, yeah i'm a fucking a star wars toy fucking expert clicked dude. in beautifully bro oh you hear that that asmr uh yeah. ding says will i be doing any uh touch-up paint i'm undecided to be honest I, I feel like I really want a second one, and I, I hope to get one around the holiday. Or even if they're showing, in, showing up in stores, we got the little Grogu dome. If they show up in stores, I would be very excited. So does the a... dome click into the seat piece, or the actual uh, uh, fuselage of the ship? Uh, I don't know. It's a good question. We'll find that out here in a second. So this is what holds the ship when you're sort of like in the hover mode. That little ball inserts at the uh, port. Nice. Let's see, Dean. I don't know. Where's the... Because uh... it'd be nice if you could just put the dome on the seat if you're not using it. Yeah. If it's perfect. Nice. I thought of it all. All right. So let's see. We have another bag here. This might be the best bag. We have the engine, the top of the engine. Very cool. Nice. And the, air the motherfucking star of the show, bro. Baby Yoda. Let's zoom in on Baby Grogs. Baby Grogs. Baby Grogs. And he's got the, uh, when he's banging the thing against the glass. Yeah, like a little shithead. It's like, go ahead, dude. Break the glass. See what happens. You get sucked out in the fucking space. Little shithead. <laughs> Jesus. And he ports in. There's a little hole there. So he's nice and secure. And you can, uh. Look at that. Look at that. That's adorable. That's actually really cute. And it's almost like its own little display, right? If you if you just had it. Right. That's that's really cute. I like that. So let's get this engine put on. A bit hollow for my taste, but, you know, never going to see Batfish, that. Batfish, can, can we just take a joke? B Billy Batfish? Maybe <laughs> he says the glass can probably withstand high impacts from Space 3. I... <laughs> Badfish, we know that badfish. Fucking hate you. <laughs> we have the uh, bottom parts of the engines, the little skid parts. So I realized my my mug He's was like, shot. Well, actually, at hyperspeed, 
Oh, well, he can't. Win. You heard me making fun of bad fish. I've already come to your Yeah, Brandon, I'm not sure. I don't think so. A custom repaint. I Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to say yes and then not do it. I was thinking to do a rub and buff, but that seems perhaps like more trouble than it's worth. Rub and buff after the show. Shit, I'm about to rub and buff too, bro. About to rub my buff. All right, so we have the engine cover for the left engine. Go ahead and put that on. We also have the little turbine thing that for some reason everything in fucking Star Wars needs to have an explanation, so... There's that, which goes yeah, it's like back the here. Drive shaft for the Death Star. It's like okay. Yeah, I feel like it should be much bigger than that. The ship or the drive shaft? The shaft. My shaft is much bigger. Yeah, because remember in hey, yo. Episode Four, they, they like takes two of them to lift it. Bro, this is beautiful. That's a good looking figure. <clears throat> Nice, li nice color separations, different use of materials. Like you said, it's got depth to it in certain parts. It's a good looking figure. Oh, this is good. Okay, so I will be honest. I am typically an absolute animal, but I don't know if I'm going to open this just yet. But it does come with the carded uh, Mando from season two, season three. I don't know. Um, I do have my. Um, Snow Mando, which is one of my favorite TBC figures, so I'm going to yeah, pop him in there. Because your cape might go in the way. One I've... thing that's really cool about this as well is back here underneath where Grogu or the R5 head would be, you can actually put every weapon that Mandos have ever come with. So the rifle, the spear. knife, the spear, the jetpack, uh, all can fit in here, which I think is really cool. Man, and this this like controls detail. I mean, it's pretty basic, but or you know. just don't open it. Just get another TVC Mando. Yeah, I'm. In fact, I may just keep this one in there. So let me see if where I the can... fuck is my Mando? Now that you say that, because you had one of these from the group buy that I did, right? Yeah, you gave me one. I think it's badass. Ben says you could put your weed in there. Wow, I'll be sure to do that. So I don't really buy into the whole thing where that Mando needs a, fi a fabric cape because it works just fine on the Razor Crest and it worked just fine here putting them in. Now the difficult thing is going to be putting in the hands into the uh, little controls. Yeah, we're a noob. I guess I must be. Oh, I got one. Might have to mess with that later, but there's Mando on there, looking pretty cool. So there, I mean, it works with the uh, the other Mando, which is pretty oh. cool. I like that. So no need to open the other one. Exactly. Close this up. Let's see. We'll do the uh, Baby Yodes look. You got Mando up front. You got Baby Yodes being a shit in the back. I love it so much. It's pretty cool. Now the guns on the front, are they on there? Or did you have to put those on there? They came on there. They're pretty sturdy. Okay, good. Yeah. I was like, those are gonna pop off. Ooh, look at this, bro. This is so cool. Uh, one six shooter says he's getting restocked on Pulse. Uh, I'm not sure. I actually, we actually got this one from Big Bad Toy Store. So I'm not quite sure why Pulse hasn't shipped theirs yet, but I don't know. I don't know how BBTS had a big stock. In fact, a lot of people thought it was a erroneous email, but apparently not. But look at this, bro. This is impressive. Let's check out the R5 option. So let me get this out of here. I feel like they should have just included an R5 head instead of like, hey, if you have I, this figure we released 20 years ago. Dean, I don't disagree with you, my friend. It is an odd... like Because I would prefer it with the R5 head. It is an odd upsell, I'll be honest. Yeah. I don't like it. 
Yeah, because it's like now that's like... I understand. I just don't like it. I don't understand. The show was already out. <laughs> okay, so here's the R5 head, which just fits beautifully. I love this thing. Look at this. You can rotate him around. Oh, this is so cool. I really need some pit droids. If anyone has three and three quarter pit droids, they don't need. I don't want to buy them. Just if you could just send them to me, that'd be great. This is so cool. Brandon says if Hot Toys doesn't release the N1, this will be the official, the only official uh, N1 on the market. That's Bro, not this true, would be actually. so fucking huge in six scale. Yeah, Brandon, that's not quite true. There's the Micro Galaxy Squadron N1. There's the Hot Wheels N1. There's the Lego N1, both the full scale and the smaller one. So I, there is quite a few official N1s on the market, Brandon. But I do see. Oh, there's also the uh, the little kids one. That's like, uh, you know, it's definitely like a chibi-fied version. Now, I wish, I don't know if this is asking for too much, but I wish this right here and these lit up blue. There's like blue paint there, but I, I feel like, you know, a light-up feature would have been cool. Maybe press down on this. Now, in your Razor Crest back there, you have a light. Thank you. Did you add Galaxy that? Heroes. I did. Yeah, it's a, uh, a little yeah, it's light. a light. No, it's, uh, it, funny enough, it's actually Lego. It's like, um... They take a, a like a Lego, and they put a light, and so you can stick it into other Lego builds. It's just yeah. like a piece. So that's pretty cool. But this is cool. You can do this forward, which admittedly in the show it goes much further forward than that. That's kind of a bit lame for that display look. But you know, to get in there, you have the uh, ability, like the 2010 uh, one of these to pick everything up which is pretty cool yeah that was my biggest complaint on the um legacy <clears throat> slave one it does that the whole fucking clip lifts up in the front it's like why uh-huh it's super annoying yeah i hope they do a black series one and what's nice is you can rotate bo uh grogu on his little pram to have him i think in the sh in the show he's like looking out the side when he does it i don't quite remember but yeah, this is this is really neat. Man, I'm really happy with this. I think it is expensive. I think Dean, I think you're right, but I think for you know, the alternatives which, you know, to pay someone to 3D print one or to make one yourself, it's not super Very cost effective, fun or frankly enjoyable. I built two of them and I don't like would not recommend. Um you had some stuff you wanted to show. I, that actually took way less time than I thought. I apologize. I told you not to rush it. I wasn't trying to rush it. It's just, you know. <clears throat> yeah, so I got in the mail the Bark Speeder and Sidecar from uh, our sweet Patreon, the Arc Fordo. And I'm going to show it off here in a second. Um, he messaged me. He's like, hey, I just wanted the trooper. I don't have no use for the speeder and sidecar. Do you want it? And I was like, fuck yeah, send it my way. So we worked out a deal. I'll talk about it tomorrow. Wow. And I was like, I'm going to put Echo and Fives on there because phase one troopers are so boring that uh -huh. this is kind of going to spruce them up a little bit. But look at this fucking thing. It's fucking massive. It's huge. And those are the sideshow ones, right? They yeah, fit pretty well. Echoes and fives. Yeah. They're not like quite sitting down all the way as you can see. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's good enough. Yeah. That thing Sorry. is fucking massive. Though. It's ridiculous. I was like, what the fuck? But the, uh, so I don't know if you could see this. This right here. They connect all completely on their own, so you don't technically need this. Um, but if you want them on the stand, you have to use it. But they yeah. they connect. I thought it was like a gimmick where it's just this actually connects them, but no, they actually clip into each other at three different points. Uh huh. Um, 
It's super nice. Are you pretty happy with the purchase? Oh, hell yeah, dude. I was like, fuck yeah. The guns were a pain in the ass to get on. Because it, it almost looks like they go the other way. These right here, like this is the barrel. But it's not. The barrel's this little thing over here. So I was like trying to put them on the wrong way. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing wrong? Luckily, I consulted the... Uh, Instruction manual? <laughs> instructions. I couldn't find them at first, but then I found them taped on the side. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, with the sidecar, this thing is insane. Bro. And the, the nice thing is the tones match really well. Like yeah, the clone they, armor they versus the uh, the weathering on the uh, armor there. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I love Sideshow clones. People give them shit, but it's like, no, they're still pretty I don't know good. why they do. They're fucking the awesome. The bodies are not great, but, I mean, that's about it. Like, they put them on a stand. They're, they're fine. Mm-hmm. But yeah, dude, this thing. How is... many of those do you own, the sideshow clones? Uh, let's see. God you damn, own quite a few, right? Tired. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of them. Nine, and then I have three hot toys clones. So I have twelve clones all together. Two of them are Cody. I have a sideshow. Oh, no, I have 13. I have a Rex, too. Phase one Rex. Sunnyvale says that looks rad. Dean looks cool having two troopers on one vehicle, and Alvin Jace's looks good. Yeah, it's insane. I was like, holy shit. I, Did you have what a place is, for like, that? the length of it? Like, could you, that one, can you separate, like, if you just wanted without the sidecar? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Super easy. They Dude, peg into each good. other, uh, one in the back, uh, one on the side, and two under the main. So, and it, it's all like snap fit. It's not like, mm -hmm. um, it's not like you have to like screw anything in or, yeah. or use any tools. You just pull them off. Damn, um, this is so cool. I think we're both very happy with our purchases. Yeah. Yeah, I'll talk more about it on uh, uh, tomorrow, but we'll Hell see. Yeah. We may have uh, a really cool unboxing for uh, next week. Uh, we were going to try to have Rainer on tonight, but he wasn't feeling well. Um, we're running just a bit short today, but uh, hopefully next week or the following. He has the Ahsoka uh, mall statue from uh, Sideshow, the premium format. Oh, the, where they're fighting? Exactly, yeah. So he said nice. he wants to come on at some point to do that. So uh, bear with us with that. But uh, otherwise, you know, I, I think uh, this was way easier to put together than I thought. I watched a video well, of I wanna, doing it. I, I, I want to see you do a, a comparison. Oh, okay. Before, let before me we end the show. Let me see if I can. Oh, hey, hey, guys. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I, like, looked. It was just me on screen. I was like, oh, shit, hey. All right, so this is my custom, which is... Um, Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty serviceable. And this is the Hasbro one. So mine is about just a little bit bigger on the wings but i think where hasbro made theirs a lot smaller or not the wings but this uh, engines here sorry it's hard to show but the chassis of mine is much more accurate to the show in terms of the size this yeah. one is kind of squished down a bit and i would say the tail is also a bit smaller sorry it's hard to hold these yeah. i do want to be kind of fragile with mine because mine is much less durable just like that Mine was okay for what it was. A lot of people asked me to make them one, but I was like, I don't think it's like that good, right? You know, yeah, someone would pay a lot of money for it. There's definitely pros and cons to either one, right? Like, yeah, I think mine's painted much better. 
yeah, I not think necessarily you're... in all the details, but the weathering is obviously much better. Yeah, your scale is also much more impressive. Yeah. Like the like you said, the fuselage of yours is like longer. It's stretched, so it just looks more accurate. Yeah. So there's mine, which I I still really like this. I don't know what I'm gonna where I'm gonna put it because this is going Have to go. Have one in, in hover mode and one flying, one with R5, and one with Grogs. Yeah, I could do that. But yeah, this is uh, this is really really neat. So <laughs> yeah, I like mine. I I basically made a second one. I just never finished it because I was getting really annoyed by draw a crash a few one because you know they're gonna destroy it in the next season. Jesus, but. Anyways, and, well, and thank he's you. Get a new fucking Razor Crest. <laughs> Razor Crest. Yeah. That'll be the send off for the character. Jesus. Let's see if I can put this down somewhere. But yeah, hopefully you guys had a good holiday today. Because I try not to break this. It's very scary. Yeah, hopefully everyone had a good holiday today. Uh, a little bit of a shorter unboxing, but we'll be back tomorrow for another exciting episode of CW. Lots of figure news that happened and uh dean what's our movie of the week it's your choice oh that's what i meant to ask you because you in the chat you said you wanted pictures of movie of the weeks i yeah i just needed picks like your pick for the movie of the week like what are you picking oh okay i was confused i didn't know was we will announce that tonight dean will announce this tonight but love you guys and we'll catch you on the next episode Bye. Let's hit that outro.